A suicide bomber detonated, detonated himself at a checkpoint near the house of Haidar al-Abidi two days after al-Abidi was named Iraq's new prime minister. No one was hurt in the Baghdad attack, but the strife among the country's leaders continues as former leader Nori al-Maliki is challenging his replacement. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Chuck Hagel announced that 130 U.S. military advisors had arrived in northern Iraq where Kurdish forces are battling ISIL extremists. Today, the French government announced it will provide weapons to the Kurdish regional government in Iraq.